they're all over above us the satellites some of them might spy on you some of them provide you with the internet link in the desert and some of them are just repeaters flying around the earth in the orbit how to catch a satellite straight from your backyard this is a topic of today's video stay tuned this time gonna be nice pass more than 60 degrees of elevation so that's that's supposed to be pretty good I need to wait for the satellite maybe somewhere that that direction so you need to start listening from the highest frequency and then getting lower down the band so that's due to the so-called Doppler effect you can do satellites with a walkie-talkie no problems but with a waterfall and visual so to say inspection what's on the band i like it much much more than the just changing from channel to channel on a walkie-talkie all right i see stations coming let's tune on Lima Yankee 2 Hotel Lima Yankee 2 Hotel Lima Yankee 2 Hotel Lima Yankee 2 Hotel again Golf 6 Uniform Sierra Tango, QSL, you're a 5.9 Kilo Oscar 2.4, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel, QSL. Yeah, Roger, all copied. Thanks for the contact. 73, bye-bye. 73, bye-bye. Perfect. Hmm? Fox 5 Delta Romeo Delta 59 Kilo Oscar 24 QSL Fox 5 Delta Romeo Delta 59 Kilo Oscar 24 QSL Roger Roger 73 You know I think there are two sorts of satellite ham radio operators sophisticated ones and lazy ones if you're a sophisticated one you probably have two radios for the satellites one for the uplink the other for the downlink or you have one radio full duplex capable you probably have two antennas and two cables and you do the satellite operation I would say professionally if you are lazy and I am lazy then you probably have one radio like I do we have my ICOM IC705 or it could be just a walkie-talkie capable of split operation in memory mode and you have you know one antenna and one cable covering both bands usually 70 centimeters and 2 meter bands and you go I have ICOM IC705 you know hanging on my belly on these improvised old conference badge stri strips <laughs> but it's very convenient in the nice 3d printed cage cage is designed by echo alpha 2 whiskey i'll put a link in the description if you're interested it's it's very good i, I like it very much it's as reliable as a metal one but it's not a metal and you know i think metal cage could be not liked very much by icom ic705 due to you know uh, wi-fi and bluetooth links installed in the radio and metal cage might influence maybe not but might so the plastic does not there is a great variety of amateur radio satellites uh, you know hundreds of them in orbit uh, and many of them are just purely amateur radio for the purely amateur radio purposes or educational purposes so one of the simplest to my mind and easiest to catch is the 
so the sad one C or so the Oscar 50 SO50 it rounds the earth every 90 minutes more or less so in my latitude uh, I can uh, have comfortably maybe one or two passes which are you know really strong and uh, the pass is strong when it's you know it flies straight straight above your head when it flies straight above your head so you, you have the strongest signal from the satellite it could be 80 degrees sometimes 80 80 80 something degrees uh, starting from 40 degrees it, it is already usable in my latitude it could be different it depends on your location on your antenna of course and so far and so on i put my antenna onto my video tripod so I can't put my camera on because of that I have to keep my camera in hand when it's on the tripod you know I can rotate it easily and I can elevate it easily also and I have my hands free you know to operate my radio to operate my log uh, but it's also possible many many hams do like you know like keep keep uh, the keep the antenna all the time in one hand and you know operate the radio with other with the other hand and well uh, maybe in this way they are more dynamic to react onto the movement of the satellite especially if, if, if this is a lower lower orbit satellite so and you need you know to track it uh, but uh, well I like it this way all right the frequency goes down Lima Yankee 2 hotel Lima Yankee 2 hotel Roger, Roger, you are 5-9, Kilo Oscar, 2-4, Papa Oscar. Lima Yankee 2 Hotel, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel, satellite. Alright, so I see on the waterfall that stations, <coughs> stations are lower. Allegri Caturi Antana Santana 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 Allegri so around 300 azimuth it's an end of the pass i can't see any more stations on the waterfall the antenna i use is a combination of two meter moxon rectangle antenna and five element yagi for 70 centimeter band initially it was created by lima yankee 3 lima papa and then it's modified by many stations by many operators so this is a little bit, a bit different antenna from the original configuration. It's easy to make, no problems. Uh, Moxon is a very, very good and nice antenna. It provides a lot of uh, enough of uh, gain uh, to reach a satellite. The Moxon rectangle antenna is uh, much more compact. It only occupies 70% uh, of the space. Uh, of a regular dipole, uh, so to say, or regular Yagi antenna. Like two element Yagi on two meters would, you know, be one meter, which is halfway from here, and uh, for the reflector, and uh, roughly the same, uh, one meter halfway for here for the, for the radiating element, or a dipole. So uh, the Moxon only takes 70%, so it's 70 cents here, 70 cents here, so and uh, one cable and for receive i have five element yagi one two three four five element yagi on the same boom uh, as the moxon rectangle and fed by the same coax cable the same feed point for both and the trick here is that uh, if i ever need you know to transmit on centimeters uh, the yagi antenna is excited by this combination so this is a 
uh, Moxon rectangle feed point and parasitically it's linked with this element of uh, Yagi. So that's a feed point. So that's the so-called dipole on 70 centimeters. It's not actually a dipole, it's, it's a continuous element, but through the parasitic link with the Moxon rectangle. So, uh, and that's why the gap here is very important. It should be from two to four centimeters. You, you need to find it experimentally by just, you know, the best way to my mind is to measure it on the nano VNA. So, and you find the resonance and, and, the, and the lowest SWR on 70 centimeters. The resonance on Moxon here is very, very nice, pretty broadband. So it could, I could use it for CW or SSB portion up to, up to the FM portion as it is now. So now it's on FM portion and the SWR is less than 1.5 and it, and it works. So here is the improvised RF choke. It's okay. It's enough. It's just the same feed, feed, feeding cable. Uh, wound around the boom and it, it's okay so it's six one two three four five six uh, turns on on the same boom and it acts as a RF choke so the element holders are 3d printed on the 3d printer it's not my own design I found it on the printables.com I guess so please check the link in, in the description to this video. Current measurements in the, on, on this website uh, are a little bit, uh, I think, too tight. So I printed it uh, at the scale of 101%, just to make a little bit bigger, you know, to fit easier onto the boom, because uh, it turns to be that not all pipes, which are set to be 20 millimeters, in uh, diameter are really 20 millimeters they, they may differ a little bit so this uh, could be very tight sit so you need to, to to sandpaper a little bit from inside or something like that the same with the so-called six millimeter aluminum rods uh, it turns to be not all uh, six millimeter rods are six millimeter really and not all of them fit easily into these you know um, uh, holders so the idea the original idea of this design was that you know you can just dismantle very easily an element you know from the yagi by the way of just you know screwing in and, and unscrewing but so that's that's okay that that could work but as i said um, this in my case the the element the the six millimeter rod is probably a bit more than six millimeters because it goes very extremely tightly into this uh, also six millimeter uh, detail and you can see a tiny crack here so um, the, it, it it happens a crack and but but it's okay because it sits on the glue and then it's you know it screws in and it's uh, presses on itself and and it, and it stays okay especially in my case i'm not gonna you know dismantle at, at each deployment so i keep it as it is from beneath the elements the holding elements are fixed by the screws so just in order to prevent them from from you know moving and, and changing location because it's very important uh, not to change location of this element. Uh, I, I, I left it uh, unscrewed here because, you know, sometimes uh, I may need to adjust the SWR in some location if I use this antenna as transmitting antenna for 70 SEMs. So I just left it like that and I can easily, each time I can easily adjust, you know, or I can put uh, I can put a mark with the knowingly good, uh, the knowingly good position of the element with the with the best SWR on 70 cents and, and and that's it. So, in the end of the day, I may want you know to put a screw in here and to fix 
to fix the element on the boom permanently if, if I find the permanent point which which suits me. The SWR on 70 SEMS, this antenna is cut for SSB and CW portion of the band, so it's like 432 in this vicinity megahertz, but it's up to 2 to 1 also on the FM. FM band like for 436 megahertz for, for the receive it receives excellently very weak Lima Yankee 2 hotel satellite Lima Yankee 2 hotel satellite Delta Lima 6 Alpha Papa, LY2 Hotel, Euro 59 Kilo Oscar 24. Kessel. 73 Lima Yankee 2 Hotel Satellite. All right, we did Germany. I got Germany. All right, guys, so it's getting dark and it's getting rainy it's autumn now uh, so i think that's it what i wanted you know to show you in this video today uh, i'm very glad with my own experiments on the satellite hunting uh, so so50 as i said is not the only satellite available for ham radio operations so in the future i will certainly try other satellites and i will certainly try you know other other antennas probably so because it's you know you can be in your backyard and you can talk to the world on vhf and uhf through the ham radio satellites isn't that nice so what do you think please leave your comment in the comment section and for now thanks for watching see you in my next videos this is linas lima yankee 2 hotel 73 cheerio